Our priorities have changed. Our priorities are shifted. We need to focus on the real issues, not the small stuff. Hi, and welcome to Lifestyle with Dr. Taha. According to Washington Post, the face of addiction is also changing. It has already shifted from adults to teenagers and the teenagers to very young child. Viewers, you have already judged from my opening statement that we are going to touch base a very important factor that is very much involved in our lives, in our healthy lifestyle, that is addiction. Addiction in our teenagers. Viewers, one in three families in United States, the statistics is very alarming. Please make sure that we are informing you and we are alarming you. One in three families in United States at this time is somehow somewhere involved with addiction issues. Addiction problem is going on inside the household. Today we are going to discuss about prevention, early intervention, treatment plans and recovery plans. When we talk about prevention, viewers, our teenagers doesn't know what's going on. And our parents doesn't know how to educate their kids about drugs and how to get them aware about drugs and its harmful effects. When we talk about early intervention, 99% of the sufferers and 99% of the people, when they enter into any rehabilitation program, when we ask one question, when did you start and what was the causative reason, they always say that kind of a victimization, kind of sexual abuse, physical abuse, parental incarceration, kind of rape or suicide or homicide, some sort of mental health disorder is also the root cause of addiction. As we all know, teenagers, youth, they are the future leaders. They are the doctors, engineers, and they are the hope of our society. At this time, we need to focus on prevention. The studies have shown that prevention programs are cost-effective proposition. When we talk about prevention, the most important thing is to remember screening. In a screening, our pediatricians can play a vital role. How? On annual visits of our teenagers, of our kids, to pediatrician, just five minutes of counseling and five minutes of screening about few questions or the few questionnaire can be filled out there at the doctor's office could help prevent addiction. The questionnaire we are talking about we call it C-R-A-F-F-T. It is composed of six questions or seven questions like, have you ever ridden a car which was driven by an alcoholic, you, your parent, or anyone else? These kind of questions could give you an idea about screening. <laughs> Viewers, at this point, I must say about brain changes. When any kind of addiction has started, at an early age, it causes the changes in the structure, physiology, and functions of the brain. Just by postponing the first alcohol drink of our kid, the simplest way to reduce the prevalence of alcohol addiction in the United States is just by asking our kid to postpone of having their first alcoholic drink. <laughs> Brief intervention is a technique where a counselor like a pediatrician could ask few questions with our teen or to a kid and the kid doesn't want the answer to be in a form of doing something. They want logic, they want science and they want stories. They just need information regarding the harmful effect of addiction any kind of addiction. We can talk about addiction, the different types of addiction later on, but when the pediatrician would ask, the kid doesn't need to be asked like, you know, uh, they need the information, they need the logic. And they say that trust us, we will do the right decision.
Viewers, I must say that pediatrician could play a very vital role. How? In an office one-on-one -on -one setting where a pediatrician could sit with a child and the child who knows that the doctor is, is an adult and who is not his parent, he could be more relaxed in that environment. So that office setting, five minutes of counseling, which is motivational kind of interviewing, where a positive reinforcement a pediatrician could do with a child in a form that he could say, like, uh, what causes uh, you, wh what is the reason why you are uh, addicted to alcohol or to any drug? And the, when the child or the teenager answers, like, uh, because it relaxes me, and, uh, in, and the answer of the pediatrician or a counselor could be, like, uh, can I offer you some other ways, uh, the other ways that could relax you, kind of like a sports or any other thing that could relax you, or, like, this is kind of a positive reinforcement or kind of a motivational interviewing where a counselor could motivate a child to do something healthier. Viewer's child needs a logic. They need more information regarding the harmful effects and what is going on. And if they are alcoholic or if they are addicted to any prescription medication. Like viewers, I always say like uh, addiction is changing its faces. Uh, an old story is like a construction worker who is um, having a slip disc or having a back problem is on any kind of painkillers, which is narcotics. But because like uh, th the same thing could happen to a teenager as well, who is on painkillers due to some reason or kind of a high school sports injury, uh, for example, for instance. So what they do, they could be addicted to that prescription medication. They could be addicted to that painkiller. This is also very important. And we need to address this problem as well. While the, this can be done easily uh, during office visit. We are talking about our teenagers, the youth of our future, who are future doctors, engineers, and the leaders of our society. We need to help them. We need to find ways how to support them. There should not be any intimidating or kind of a guilt or kind of uh, any lecturing to them or any to cope up with their addiction problems. Uh, there shouldn't be any kind of uh, such thing. But in order to uh, get them engaged, we need to identify the problem at early age and address the problem. <laughs> We were talking about prevention strategies. Prevention is always cost-effective proposition. The referral to treatment, we, we will talk about two types. There is no need for extensive outpatient treatment, and there is no need for intensive inpatient treatment for, for our teenagers. Only five minutes of counseling in the form of a kind of an annual visit with pediatrician, will do wonders. Here's the most important thing which I need to tell you at this point is do not blame your child. If you find anything, any kind of addiction in terms of alcohol, drugs, marijuana, heroin, any kind of addiction, if you find it out, and should, you should not blame your child. Encourage them to seek help. Encourage them. It's the time of action. It's not the time for them to be blamed. Dear parents, always look into rehabilitation programs and support them and always look, look into rehabilitation plans and the treatment plans which, are, which could help them. In the end of the program viewers, I must say take care of our future youth. Take care of our future. This is all about healthy lifestyle viewers. So in case of any emergency, call 911. If you have any questions or queries regarding our topic today, please call our studio or email us. This is all about you. This is all about your life. Your life is beautiful. You are beautiful. Stay healthy. Stay happy. Lifestyle with Dr. Taha.